Last week, we showed you how Yuba Water Agency is partnering with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, collecting data on atmospheric rivers through weather balloons. Well, now part of that research is going to include heavy duty hurricane aircraft. Love that balloon story. So your reporter Kayla Moeller is getting answers on how researchers are getting help from the Air Force. I'm in a C-130, but it's not just any C-130, it's a WC-130 used to hunt hurricanes. But over the next few days, it's going to be used to hunt atmospheric rivers. A partnership spanning across several agencies, Yuba Water, the Department of Water Resources, the U.S. Air Force, and Scripps Institute of Oceanography is working to better understand atmospheric rivers. The one thing with California is that it's really the land of extremes. It's either feast or famine. The variability from year to year uh, in terms of the amount of precipitation that falls is the most variable compared to anywhere else in the United States. Too many or too few atmospheric rivers can be a determining factor of flood or drought. So researchers are learning more about them to help with the forecasts and optimize water management. This place is a very good location for us to, one, the proximity of the atmospheric rivers for us and to just how the weather is here. We can easily come in and come out. Atmospheric river research flights are typically done from January through March. Teams are flying out from Mather Air Base to the Pacific Ocean. Because the Pacific Ocean is very data sparse, and these are really the best way to go out and observe these storms. And if these forecast models don't know what's going out on over the Pacific Ocean, uh, they're not going to forecast them well as they're making landfall over California. During a typical mission, there are about 25 drop sons that they shoot through here to collect data about the storm. It has a parachute on it, and as it drops through the storm, it uh, collects a bunch of data and it allows them to draw a, a vertical map of the storm. If we've had a couple of atmospheric rivers that aren't really producing a lot of rain, then they try to conserve more water in certain areas. But if it is going to be a very he heavy rainfall event, then maybe they might be talking about releasing water. All of this data collected from the flights are sent back to weather centers to compile and compare, ultimately improving storm predictability and forecasting. In a warming climate, we're seeing that that variability is becoming even more so, and California is becoming even more dependent on these atmospheric rivers to provide the water necessary for agriculture and drinking and other uses ac across the state. All right, Kayla, interesting story. Thank you.